Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to play guitar and harmonica together like a train. Not just any train, a big old steam train that rattles down the tracks and doesn't derail. So check it out. Let's get that boiler heated up and get that train moving. If you don't play guitar, that's cool. The first part of this lesson, I'm going to just concentrate on the harmonica side of things, and that sounds great on its own. So let's begin with that. I'm playing today in A harmonica, and we're in the key of E, so we're in second position. So let's just start with the timing. You want to be counting to yourself one, two, one, two, one, two. And on the one, you draw on the first few holes, one, two, maybe three, draw. And you do it twice, like. And on the two, you do the same thing, but you blow on the first few holes. So I'll count this in, and I'll do it really slow, so you see what I mean. One. And that's the basis of it, really. Some people like to have a sort of harder kind of sound to it, you know, where you can sort of articulate with your mouth, you know, you might sort of, you know, make up something like ta da ta 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 You know, you can do that sort of thing, you know, make up, make up your own kind of tone you want for the train. For this one, I'm not doing that. I'm just kind of drawing and blowing quite straight. And as you get used to playing that rhythm, you can speed it up. So we go one, two. So you can start really slow. Start turning the engine over, get the train out of the station, and then how fast you want to go is up to you. You can kind of amble along the tracks, you can go flat out, you can just ball the jack. But you can't have a train without a whistle. So to play the whistle, I'm drawing on two, three, and doing a little bend. So let's put it all together. One, two, one, two. Let's add the guitar now. I'm just going to be playing one chord. Open E. Widely regarded as the world's greatest chord for playing train songs. If you play a bit of guitar you should know this chord. But if you don't, uh, just one finger on the A string 2nd fret, one finger on the D string 2nd fret, and one finger on the G string, first fret. That's your open E. There's two ways you could play the rhythm here. This is the first way, this is the way I'm going to do it. On the one, just hit the first few bass notes on the guitar, maybe just 
you know, the first couple of strings. And on the two, play the whole chord. It's a rhythm you hear a lot in you know, bluegrass music, stuff like that. And um, if you were playing with a drummer, on the one, the drummer would be hitting the kick drum, on the two, be hitting the snare drum. It's that sort of rhythm, that boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick. So here's the second way, and this way is, uh, it's a good way if you're struggling doing it that first way and you know maybe your arm's getting tired from doing it like that because it can be a bit of a strain on your wrist, this way is a bit friendlier on your wrist. So on the one you do the same thing, but on the two instead of bringing your arm up again to do the stroke down, you just come up. So so if you find that easier, go with that one. So let's put it all together. I'll start real slow, build up a bit of speed. As the boiler heats up, I'll blow the whistle. One, two, That's how I play harmonica and guitar together like a train, one of my favourite pastimes. So I hope you have a lot of fun with that. If you're doing it and you happen to derail, don't worry, just get back on the tracks, keep moving, you'll get there, you'll reach the destination. Bye for now.